At real quick and straight to the point and voted unanimously to cut ties with Dr. Nate Carmen before he was supposed to start this summer. So before they even got to the vote, they just gave a brief statement, the board did, about how they require each of their candidates to disclose any issues from previous jobs, and they believe that Dr. Carmen omitted facts, and that's why they moved to cancel their contract with him. So the district originally hired him in February, where he was scheduled to start in July. He was placed on administrative leave in March at his current superintendent position in El Paso, Texas, over a potential conflict of interest with a company the district was in business with. Now, an audit appeared to show Dr. Carmen swayed the district to hire ADM, an Arizona-based architecture vendor, for several projects back in 2022, around that time when he started the job. So we spoke to a parent who was vocal about not hiring Dr. Carmen today. He says he feels he's relieved that the board's decision to cut ties with him. The controversy has been centered from, from day one, from when we were rushed through the process uh, to select him to be first to market. And I think we avoided a catastrophe uh, tonight by, by the board recommending to rescind his contract. Now, following their move to cancel Dr. Carmen's contract, they did move to make their current interim superintendent, Sherry Richards, the new superintendent for the school district. Now, she's been with the school district since 2011. Now, we originally began covering news of the audit against Dr. Carmen back in March. And back then, he gave a statement, which you can read in full on our website, azfamily.com. For now, live in Gilbert, I'm Stephen Sarabia for Arizona's Family.